Like all places of this nature, the lighting was perfect. Hypnotising colours, soft but warm, I know, mate. But it gets better. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> but you can reserve all the colours till the end. <laughs> soft but warm, blues and greens, that dashed almost unnoticed between a dominant display of reds and purples. The perfect light display to hide familiar incongruities like shame, guilt, frugality, lines under breasts and cesarean scars. After watching Francesca find curious ways around a pole and being offered a light smacked few of curves I thought only existed on the blueprints of an Italian concept sports car, we went outside for cigarettes and discourse in the cool London air. It looked like an art expedition. Out here was real life, but I had been in Wonderland for so long, the onus of normality was on the cyclists, motorists and pedestrians as they travelled with aim under uninspiring orange lights. Soon I would have to join them. I had become sad, and cigarettes turned to ash, and doors become bolted and whiskey turns back into a blood all too fast. <laughs> For the fox I thought I saw darting between the bushes in the Allen House Gardens. No coup, no whistle. No noise at all could I do with pursed lips that open and close quickly as air struggles out and in. Can persuade you to come talk and sit for a while and talk about what we have seen. Shame. Im Arben Sonnenschein. Feet stomped streets, puddles that glitter, sad yellow flickers, half blinding, half warming. My foot disrupts the serene liquid into fine stammers, and a dog looks to chase the pigeons, but is restrained by the leash. We watch fear fly in feathery flutters against the afternoon sun that escaped the puddle and leapt into the sky to cordon the birds from gnashing canine teeth or whimpers. <laughs> we continue our walk under the desperate glow in Arben sun and shine in search of sun-trapping puddles and grounded birds who forgot about fear.